D is inversely proportional to C. When C is 280, D is 25. You need to find the value of D when C is 350. Okay, so I'm going to write out like this. We've got D is inversely proportional to C. So that's what this, um, this is a mathematical way of writing it. So what we've written here mathematically is D is inversely proportional to C. So next step, what we do is we create an equation using a constant of proportionality, which we introduce. So what we do is we take D here. We make an equation by saying equals. And we multiply by a constant. In this case, we're going to call it K. So K multiplied by, again, what we had up here. So 1 over C. So here is our constant of proportionality. Now, we need to know what this constant is, because this is a certain value, but we don't know what it is at the minute, so we just said k. We're going to do that using the information up here, that we know that d is inversely proportional to c, when c is 280 and d is 25. So we're going to sub in the info from the question. So that's saying d is 25. I'm going to keep k the same, because I just want to find out. So k multiplied by 1 over, and c is 280. So we'll write that again, so we've got 25 equals, and working this out, it will be k over 280. Now if we multiply both sides by 280, we get 25 multiplied by 280 equals k multiplied by 280 over 280. We can see these on the top and bottom here, they're going to cancel. So what we're left with is k equals 25 times 280, which is 7,000. So that's great. We've worked out what our constant of proportionality is. Now we're going to use this to create a general equation linking c and d. So because we now know what k is, and we know up here that d equals k multiplied by 1 over c, we can say, okay, so what d equals, and I'm going to write it a bit like this um, way here. I'm going to say k, so 7,000 over c. So now we've created a link between c and d using our constant and proportionality here. So now we get to the final part of the question, which is find the value of d when c is 350. So we're going to sub c is 350. And then we'll have a value for d. So we'll have d is 7,000 divided by 350. which is 20. So our answer here is that D is 20. So we get one mark here um, for creating our link uh, between D and C and subbing in these values with our constant here, so K. We get our second mark over here. So for finding out that K is 7,000, then substituting C equals 350 to create this here. Then we get our final mark that through all of that, and um, we work out the correct answer of D being 20.